Greetings, who nerds. I'm Adi, and I'm George, and this is Couscous, and welcome back to the Windmill Full of Corpses. Right. So, uh, I'm wearing a Lorna short shirt because I don't have a slaughter to prepare, sir. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. Did you see what's behind him? Yes. Does that, that, does that, yeah, does that look like what would be on the wall of a man who's about to sing you a love song? If you think about how the drums sound in the said love song, sure. Right, so it's a very unconventional man with a very unconventional background about to sing a very unconventional ma- uh, love song. And uh, and two oh. very unconventional dweebs about to react. Now, we're very conventional. We're as conventional as conventionalness gets. We have a dead guy on camera. He's not actually a dead guy. I mean, he's not a human, but he is a dead guy. All the goth girls on Instagram have skulls. Except they also have a following. I don't know what I'm more offended by. You're claiming I don't have a following or you're claiming I'm not a goth girl. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> no. It's going to be Lorna Shore. Yes. To be honest, first of all, when I heard out, uh, heard out about Lorna Shore, I was like, who the fuck is Lorna Shore? Why everybody talks about Lorna Shore? Slaughter to prevail. <laughs> yes. Better. It was like a competition for me, you know, but then I checked them out. I checked this song. Will Ramos. You are a fucking monster. <laughs> I love your vocals. Drama, guitars. No. Bellissimo. Bellissimo guy. So I covered the song. The Russian guy Italian for the American band. Yeah.
He's the one who did the screaming, and now my voice is tired. Your voice is always tired. That's because I'm always tired. Dude! Like, dude! That was so good. I, like... I'm, I'm already confronted with a paradox because of this vocal cover, because he doesn't have quite the same emotional intensity that Will has, mm -hmm. but he has more depth and more gritty texture. Yeah. And that's what it is to me. <clears throat> and I kind of want to feel both, but I don't think you can, because in order to get the texture, you have to get rid of the more touchy-feely parts of the voice, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Not rice. Jeez. But I think I know what I want to hear. What? I want to hear them do it together. You, you want to hear Alex doing the lows and Will taking the, taking the high and the more vulnerable things, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay, did you realize that all the high screams he was doing on his typical rolling R? No. Like the way he has a, that thing? He was doing that technique on the high register. Huh. There aren't a lot of high screams in, uh, in Slaughter to Prevail, so I was curious how he was gonna do it. He did it like that. Mm -hmm. That's what all the high screams were. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Mm -hmm. And he, I, I didn't know how he was gonna pull off the really soft part in the middle and the build up. Yeah. He used a lot of the really breathy. Yeah. Techniques that he uses in build ups in Slaughter to Prevail. Yes. Yes. And those in Slaughter to Prevail always sound so combative. I never thought that style that's kind of in between scream that more shouty thing could sound so touchy-feely and vulnerable like you need in, in a Lorna Shore context right yeah Alex you and your machine guns and your bare knuckle fights and your bare fighting we know you're a softy inside yeah inside only only yeah <laughs> problem is in a bare knuckle fight you're meeting the outside yeah yeah I think I think that's actually the best way a human can be a softy on the inside and Alex terrible on the outside yes He pulled it off. He really pulled it off. I'm uh -huh. really impressed with this. One. I'm very happy with this. Also, speaking of the guns in the background, the mask is still scarier. Yeah, yeah. Like, if the guns were shooting at the mask, the bullets would ricochet back in and the gun would explode. Yes. Also, if Alex Terrible can awkwardly air guitar on camera in his covers, so can I. Yeah, especially I'm... given that he missed the rhythm on the second chug, chug, chug. I missed it too. I don't, I don't have to be self-conscious about that anymore. Yeah, me neither. I mean, thank you. No. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we really appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells on. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay. And we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Of course. See ya.